I love it. So if you're playing with Rob Zombie, give me like some of the, the basic kind of style sound. Well, as much as you can with this, you know, what you got here. Like, if, if it's I like was kind of like the summer, like what is the distinctive thing that you would do that's zombie on that guitar? Like, zombie would like, like, a, um, like he, he loves rhythm. Right. Which, by the way, a lot of guitar players don't play rhythm guitar very well. You know, something like triplets that, like, aren't easy to really pull up. Like yeah. groovy. Does he de make you detune? You detune a lot to get that lower. Um, sometimes, or or if I'm just like in a certain tuning, um, things like that. But you know, like the, the great. Yeah. I don't know. But, yeah. But you know. Yeah. It's, it's, you, you add that with the drums and the bass. It's done. Great. Done. Just like. Yep. You know, it's like. Oh. That's a, you just said bass drums done? Yeah. Hello. I mean, because like riffs like that, like Thunder Kiss or. or yeah. Or that Dude, thing. it's like the whole audience is moving. Yeah. And now you can say that you can read the alphabet. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, and you know, it goes for uh, so many other songs, you know, like, yeah, even riffs that are more complicated, but it still sounds rad. But ACDC, you know, so the simple. Cashmere. Oh, yeah. I mean, but like ACDC, they have like, yeah, <laughs> thunder stuff, right? So great, you know, dude. That was what so a great intro. Great, what intro. a great intro. Or like, you know, like, Eruption. yeah, That's or like, you know, that, you know, so good. To teach you, right? Yeah. How, dude, how great. Oh, I got an idea. It's, for it's, song. it's iconic. Those aren't just like, that's not noodling. Those are like parts. Yeah, those are parts. parts. Those are fucking parts that are like, um, that are unorthodox even. You need to know what song it is. That's yeah. it. And it's like, here we go. You know, it's like, oh, but there's so many iconic riffs. Let's like do that. Motley Crue. What makes Motley Crue's thing? You're, you're playing with Motley Crue so definitive. Like, well, first of all, they just like you hear a chord, even like that, like the beginning of Girls, Girls, Girls. I mean, it, there's so much groove in those yeah, yeah. riffs. Yeah. yeah. Even the straight riffs, like. Mm. Oh yeah. You're like head goes. Oh yeah. All those it's riffs. melody and feel all built in. One. Yeah, it's just yeah. like, who doesn't like that? I mean, that's just like. I mean, how can you not yeah, love how can that you not like stuff? that? Yeah. I mean, it's just like. <laughs> I mean, there's so many. Just great riffs, mm. great riffs. I wish right. I wrote them. Love it. But at least I'm I'm experiencing them and experiencing okay. them and having the time of my life. Yeah. When I, you know, went to audition or not audition, when I went for the rehearsal, I didn't have to learn anything. I knew 
every song, you know, like every one. Did you have to refresh it all? Yeah, of course, you know, but, but you knew it from doing it. Yeah. You know, great stuff, yeah. man. Just like <laughs> great stuff. Just, That's just the great stuff. Greatest, greatest, greatest. Um, you know, they just have such a distinct, uh, you know, riffs and all that yeah. stuff. It's just like what? incredible yeah. stuff. They just create, like they create their own planet with the level of like an ACDC or a Van Halen or anything yep. like that. That's that's yeah. where I hold it, you know. So, but now when you were playing with Katie Lang, it wasn't anything like this. No, it was more clean, um, right? Yeah, it was clean and it was very, um, you know, like you would have like, you know, if you have like, um, they have a whole different thing. But then you could break out like, you know, cool, like country bends and yeah. things like that, which is really fun. And they did, let me just tune up really quick. We can edit this part out. Yeah, she definitely has a country influence in her, but uh, pop and country. Yeah. But like, wow. That's great. <laughs> I mean, it's a different world. It's a completely different world, but it's just as authentic as the other worlds. Yeah. That's what, that's what, that's why I'm picking all these different groups because, I mean, I mean, to be a great musician, sometimes you only have to play one song if mm -hmm. you, you know, but, but then it, you did a lot of session work. And so you dove into all kinds of styles. All kinds of styles. And that's what I studied when I was a kid. Like I was so obsessed. And I loved like, uh, you know, Everything. all those country pickers, uh, you yeah. know, the Jerry Reeds and all that Holy. stuff. And you could do all that stuff with you modern, play a Jerry Reed lick? Mo modern songs like. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's what they call it picking. <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you just, but adding that Jerry Reed type of stuff to like these rock and roll songs. <laughs> That's so cool. 
Well, that's the beauty of being able to play multiple styles is that you then you always bring stuff into into what you're doing. You know. Yeah. I remember. Um, I remember when I was a kid, people would like, "Why you play that jazz shit?" Oh, and then the jazz people like, "Why are you playing that classical shit? Why right, are you playing right, that country right. shit? Why are you playing that R&B shit? You play Latin? Everyone's giving me crap for it." But in the end, slowly but surely, when I got older, I had all this to offer when I'm making these records, like Melon Camp. You know, you know, to be like, it was one song. He said, "I need a drum break right now." And John was so impatient; he wanted it now. This song called um, uh, "Justice and Independence," and he go, "Do a drum solo right now." So I did something that was like Gene Krupa in the middle of a rock song. Oh, I love Gene Krupa. You know, yeah, it's like, what was it? Uh, da -da 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 kind of a funky thing. And then so, all the snare drum. It's jazz. And then, on the tom, Gene Krupa. Well, and that was their rock and roll. That was the kids' rock and roll. Yeah. You got like... Yeah. And then, and then guitarists would rip. Oh yeah. Wow. Well, you know, they would just rip. You know, that kind of, they would just rip. That's great. That's great. And it was so cool because a lot of those guitar players would do like these, you know, crazy arpeggiated things yeah. and, you know, like... Who, was there one guy that sort of invented that thing? Or was... Chet Atkins and Les Paul. Les Paul and Chet Atkins would do a lot of like those. I got to play with both of them. Yeah. I got to play with Les Paul. He just, uh, we did a, dude, this was, it was Les Paul solo record. I think it was like Iggy Pop singing, Fernando Saunders played with Lou Reed and Slash. <laughs> what a weird combo. Great combo. Yeah. For Les Paul record. Yeah. Chet wow. Atkins, I got to play with him in Nashville with that Rhythm Country Blues record. They put, might have been Chet Atkins and Tanya, no, no, it was Little Richard and Tanya Tucker. Chet Atkins and who was it? But they would combine like Memphis and Nashville, basically uh, R&B and country. Mm -hmm. It's a brilliant concept. Staple si singers with, uh, um, basically his name. Uh, yeah, it was just incredible. Yeah. What? Then you have like, you know. Marty, ba Marty, ba yeah. They have like, but now like when I'm searching on the internet and you have like all these different styles because it's always evolving, right. these guitar players. Yeah, yeah. And I love it, like different techniques like. Um, and there's rhythm. Right. And you can use that, man, yeah. in anything you're doing now. Because it's like a piano type yeah. of thing, but on guitar. It could be a cool intro to something. Yeah. And it's on, it's on the records in your repertoire. And there's um, like... Oh, wow. Okay. You know, like cool, weird stuff and this that you cool. don't you have, you have no, um, no foot pedals, no, no accessories. No. The instrument. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Fun stuff. You know, it's just, just, it's a, it's, um, well, it's I try a, it's, to it's, learn it's, as much as I yeah. can. It never ends. It never ends. Never ends. Why would, there's no retirement. There's no retirement. And there's no way of, of really, you can never stop learning. That's what's so amazing. Yeah. If you can 
invent something that you will never it's infinite it's infinite right this and yeah learning is infinite yeah and it's like just people now we have all around the world you can watch these things from all around the world and guitar players that come up with shit and you're like oh wow that's really cool like a you know, like different techniques that you're like, yeah. oh shit, that's really right. cool. I right. want to try that. Yeah, how know? could one person know everything? Exactly, it's impossible. it's impossible. But that's what makes it fun for me. Yeah. You know? That's, <laughs> you've embraced it 100%. <laughs> Dude, that's so awesome. So now, the creatures. Yeah. Would it, give me an example. Uh, with the creatures, is the creatures of Snoo Tour is going to be a singer or is it all instrumental? All instrumental. And it's, it's... So what is different about this new record? It's, well, it's, definitely crazy i'm releasing a song and a video song and a video song and a video so it's very out there and this is what makes my mind go and stuff because it's it's definitely weird like that riff like before i was like well but it's, it still has that beat yeah, you still feel the beat. But I mean, it is, it grew. It grew. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, that kind of yeah. stuff. So you know, the you, thing is, if, 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 they, if people can feel a beat and they can groove, you can right. pretty much put anything in front of them. You can play anything, yeah. Because yeah. it, it always has to have that, like, yeah. that, that beat yeah. to it. And that's what makes it fun, you know? I just love it. Because then the audience can participate. Exactly. They're involved. Exactly. We're all involved together. Yeah, exactly. But, um, yeah, so it's fun. Good, man. I'm going to have to check you guys out. Yeah. You'll be playing in L.A. So I'm going on tour with Satriani. Third week in January with G3 for three, two and a half weeks and a little time home, then a week on a boat. The yeah. Monsters of Rock, whatever it is, I don't know. And then, then it's 10 weeks, Vi and, and Satriani. It takes me to like May 23rd. Yeah, we are playing at the El Rey, like uh, end of January. So you'll be on I'll tour. be gone. <laughs> we always miss each other. I know. That's, that's just if you're busy and you're happening, yeah. you never see anybody. Exactly. That's how it is. All right, bro. Thanks, Thank buddy. You. All right. All right.